And my project today is to do a painting of this beautiful old pub in uh, Bedfordshire. It's called The Bell in Odell. Very ancient old pub. And of course in Britain we have so many wonderful old pubs or public houses as I should properly call them. Um, so I thought I'd try to do this one today. Just I took this photograph just a few days ago and uh, it's lovely and sunny so I must try and capture that. Got the bright greens on that tree, sun's coming from the right. Um, got a few people, a couple of people, pedestrians here, a couple having a drink there at the pub there, the table. So I've got to try and capture that sense of brightness and light. And we've got some nice roses here and some shadows here, this car part here and this hedge. So I must try and get some sense of direction. As I said, the sun is coming from the right here. And you can see the shadows that the um, pedestrians are casting and under here, under the sign here, under the eaves, beautiful, bright, summer day so early summer so let's crack on with this um i have to save time i've actually sketched it out um to give you some idea of uh, let me zoom up a little bit so you can see better so if you can see that just a rough sketch so i'm going to do a very light keep it light and colorful so that's the plan so i'll uh, I'll get started with that and come back when I've um, sort of uh, got all my paints mixed and, and made a little start. Um, actually, before that, I should show you the my palette, my usual palette. I've got a whole bunch of colours here, the usual suspects, as we say. Um, some greens here, sap green, viridian. Um, some burnt umber, Payne's grey, Indian red, cadmium red. I've uh, got um, ultramarine there, cobalt blue, cerulean, um, oranges, and a couple of yellows. Got lemon yellow here, and um, ochre. Um, this is already um, a very useful. Uh, colour to use and it's pretty mucky. I haven't cleaned up my uh, palette but uh, these will, some of these colours we can incorporate. Got um, Crimson Alizarin here and uh, this is a nice one as well. This is called Naples Yellow. Uh, that's a really nice useful colour so let's get cracking. Right, I'm going to start with a nice wash over here of the, of the sky. I'm going to have a nice light colour. I think it's bright. I, I think I'm going to go with cerulean. So I'm just going to wet this up a little bit so I can get some bleeding down of the colours. Doesn't matter if I go over the building a little bit. So, need a big Chinese brush that I was given a, a set of these. So, we've got enough water on there now. Yes, I think we have. Let's come down here nice and wet. Now I need to, I think I want to clean up my, my palette just a little bit so I get a nice clean um, blue. So I'll just wipe this with a bit of tissue, clear it up a little bit so we can cerulean and some water here. We get a nice good puddle. I've got to remember, of course, with watercolour, it 
tends to dry a lot lighter. So be mindful of that. So let's you'll note that my board is tilted pretty steeply on my tripod here. Just sweep it in there. And the skies tend to be a little, to make it a little varied. Um, Naples yellow in here. And I we'll mix to try and show this camera records them as uh, just dark. Can anybody read that? No. Right, let's, um, I think I should put a lift something out. Yes, that's what we should do. Let's a little bit drier. And some thing to show the windows. On the end here, that's gonna make it a little darker in a minute. I'll drop a bit of nice little bit of greenery, a bit lighter because the sun is catching this on this side anyway. So I have to darken up the shaded side. So I'll put a bit of Bit of blue in there to catch that, and this needs to be bigger. So, target area, get some form to it. Really, quite dark down in here. I bit of that up and we can dab a bit in there. I've got some here as well. Right. Lighter here. It's catching the sun. Right, and then we've got a, a bigger one here. I've got one of those little guards, stop the birds going down the chimney. Chimneys on here. This garage is trying to get some different tone to the to the roof there.
Right, where are we now then? Let's, um, I'll have to get some real detail in these in a minute. Also, I've got to try and represent the, these lovely decoration on this roof with this thatch. Got some amazing little skilled decoration here. Which I'll, um, if I put in some of the shadow area under the lip of the on this side maybe they will be a little bit more prominent go for that. Yes, I think that will slow us up a little bit better. I got that. coming over here. That is what's so striking about these old cottages. Or old buildings, it's hardly a cottage, but right, they've got lots of. Marks on them that show some of the craftsmanship of the Thatcher. So I'll try and get some of those or suggest them with these marks. a bit more texture here. I'll slide my brush down like this and we get some dry brush marks will show a little bit more texture. to squint your eyes sometimes and see if you've got the right tonal value, darks and the lights, and I think I need a little more 
shadow area on this front of the building a little bit here so how do I do that I'll have to get a nice slightly darker tone and just wipe in if I can over this this face here I think needs to be darker yes I think that will a little bit here so I've got a contrast with this side and this side if you make one side darker this will automatically look a little bit lighter the eye does some funny things Right, I've got put the detail of the signage and the doors and that will I think we could have a little bit of darker tone here. I will be under the eaves. You need to have a lot to suggest the form. I'll make that a bit darker. Right, how does that come across? I think probably put a bit of bluey, a bit of shadowy colour, which you can make up with a little bit of ultramaroon ultramarine and a little crimson alizarin you can make a nice shadowy color with that can you see there look i've got the uh, ultramarine here crimson alizarin here and sort of purpley color here i think i'm going to See if I can drip a bit in there. Just sweep it in there. Comes across the windows and here. Right. Under the shadow here, let's darken that up. Let's um, do that, and I've got shadows under here of the A frame here, and darken up in there. Advertising there. Their lovely food that they do here. Get a nice meal here. Right, I need to put some more plants in there as well. Got a nice um, rose bush there. So. in the name a little bit later I think I'll go, let's go a little bit darker paint that in with um, a bit of gouache 
wash perhaps. Let's see. Fine edge here. Think. Shall I put in the windows to this detail, to this door? Got the Green King sign there. Could do that with a dark pen, perhaps. Shadow. And uh, I'll sign it here. And this door. Look at these windows. We should get onto some detail. I don't know what sort of plant it was. Let's do that tub still. Uh, oh, I've got a rose here. I've got to get a lovely rose over just to the right of this window. Oh yes, just here. I'm going to put some colour in there in a minute. I've got some nice red rose. Got to do that. And um, by the signage actually, there's a bit of a rose there. So let's just hint at some foliage and I'll drop a nice crimson alizarin in there. Which will represent our rose for us. Um, now let's we do something there, some kind of box there. Ultramarine, but I think I'm going to darken it up a little bit with a bit of 
Ames Gray. So I can just make it We can see the line a little bit better. This big, big pole here, big timber. So they've got their sign, the Green King Brewery from Barry St. Edmunds. Very old brewer. Established a couple of hundred years, I'm sure. detail. How am I going to handle that? The bell that is dark green or a green of fairly darkish. Um, on above these windows they've got um, old like wooden lintel in a way. Very ancient wooden lintel, so I think I could get a little tiny brush. Let's see if we can get that in. That will add something, I think, to define it. to be struck actually between how much detail you put in less is sometimes more with watercolor That's, a lot. That's the signage. Let's get the edge of that.
Ring King sign here. It's got a little crown on the top there. Their company light symbol. Right. I haven't put our roses in yet, have I? And roses here. So we'll just hint at some foliage. And here I've got a couple of customers. One here. Just sitting at this table here. I'll have to put some colour on them. Right, the bell. At Odell, should I try and write this? Or hint at it? Hmm. Let's put some colour on this. Oh, I put that, let's put that tub in. Let's give it a, a bit of colour anyway. Um, what should we go for? Lumber, green. Oh, I need some window colour there. A little bit of shadowy colour. Let's uh, into the window here. Well, I've uh, recharged my battery on my camera and uh, while it was doing it, I've completed uh, the painting really. You can see here, I've got some nice roses in here, our figures are sitting at the table enjoying a beer there. Emphasized a few details here, and the chimneys improve that. 
um, generally tightened up a little bit on the signage and here darken the shadows see it here um, so I think we've uh, captured something of the essence of this wonderful old pub here in Olney and in um, Odell I should say in Bedfordshire got a nice dark here got the shadows and the eaves here a little bit more on the thatch trying to so you can see these lovely patterns here that the thatcher has done but anyway I hope you enjoyed it it's um and if you'd like to see more of my paintings just click the like button and then you'll be notified um, when I put up any any other ones soon you'll get a note come through also if you've got any comments do make some comments and um, any questions and uh, get enter into a little dialogue about anything here anyway that's my session for today hope to see you watching some more later